these are the off-road vehicles now. That seems to be the thing. But this is the original off-road vehicle. Now, this one is 1942. This is built under license by Ford. And it was definitely built to last, basically bulletproof, which is why our brave soldiers in World War II made good use of its sturdy 4x4 capability and hefty 660-pound payload. I'm meeting a friend of mine, very funny comedian. He's also the dirtiest comedian I've ever heard in my life. Come on, let's go meet him. Hey, Bob. Hey, Jay. I've been waiting here like, like an hour. You may know him best as Danny Tanner on the smash sitcom Full House, but Bob Saget is full of other talents, too. He's also a Hollywood game show host, and as a stand-up comic, he's one of the funniest and raunchiest out there. I'm happy to see you, man. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, my friend. It's like 140, and I wear this jacket to look cool because I heard oh. about this. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is one of the most amazing things. It's called the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse Hellfire. Hellfire. Six by six. Made to withstand a zombie attack, the Apocalypse Hellfire 6x6 is a mega monster of an on and off road vehicle. Its features include a six wheel all wheel drivetrain, eight speed automatic transmission, a V8 Corvette engine, and 500 extremely angry horses under the hood. This high performance beast really puts the B in bigger and badder. I think he'll like it. It's got infrared cameras up there. Right, so I could see through stuff it was nighttime. Right. They're all handmade. They make them one at a time, and this is number 78. Is it made by one guy? Just one well, hand? Well, no, no. There's a lot of two-handed people. There's a, <laughs> a bunch of them there. And this goes up to six-wheel drive. It's in six-wheel drive right now, so. Which is great for me. <laughs> if you get stuck in this, it's your fault, because right. I'm driving this. We won World War II with this. With this, we could actually beat other planets. Are you ready to go for a ride? I can't wait. I just crushed all the equipment. I did? Yeah. Holy That's all right. Ah, uh, it's but not all right. I'm an idiot. Head. I'm so sorry. We wanted to find the one place in LA where you couldn't hit anything, but we missed. <laughs> How do you like off-roading? What do you think? I love it. It gives you a sense of adventure and power. I mean, it's a giant piece of machinery underneath me. Step on it, see how it goes. <laughs> no! <laughs> this thing can go fast really quickly. This thing can't. My tires are like 50 years old. Yeah, I'm looking at them. They look like they won the war, though. They look like they lost the war. <laughs> I said in the intro how your act is nothing like your TV persona, is it? I think I'm getting closer to being like that because how the world's changed, I pretty much do like my Danny Tanner character, and I dust off the stool on the stage, and I spray the mic. So I'm much cleaner, I think. Right, 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 right. I am changing, as we all are, but I always looked up to you for the way you always did stand up, Jay, when I met you back in 1976, for God's yeah, sakes. Yeah, it's a long time ago. Yeah. yeah it, it is funny. We all did Mike Douglas and Merv Griffin, but you weren't officially in show business until you did The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. That's the first show when you're officially in show business, isn't it? Right. He was very kind to me, as you were. I remember one time I was promoting a movie I'd made called Farce of the Penguins, and we, your producers put a penguin on my lap. I, and I it don't was, remember it. It was literally a live penguin, which I'd never held, on my lap. And I said, this is the poster for the movie, because it was an R-rated movie. Yeah, right. So what do you got coming up next, Bob? I did this movie during quarantine in the Cayman Islands, and it's called Killing Daniel. It's this movie with really good people in it. Joel David Moore and Jason Jones and Carly Chaikin and Mary Lynn Rice Cup and Iggy Pop. It's kind of like a Knives Out meets Secession. Oh. I'm going to open her up. I feel very empowered. You know, I, I don't curse a lot in my daily life or even in my, my work much anymore, but this is this This is so much fun. There's the Bob Saget I know! Yeah. There's 
Thank you so much, Bob, for being a part of the show.